Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Twyla, I'm King Dino, and on this episode, we're finally going to be able to go away again. We haven't been able to go away for the last four weeks because of the lockdowns, but now the lockdowns have been softened enough to let us head off into Victoria somewhere. We actually haven't decided where we're going this weekend. It's Thursday night at the moment. I'm just packing the van with Tyler while Adam's at work. I think I just hit my head on the roof. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so we're going to quickly pack the van and then book somewhere tonight and we are off tomorrow. Mm. All right, I'll show you what I'm packing. Tyler's found her seat, having your baby girl. And then over here, I normally what we do is we always have a, this box and we throw everything in it um, and then bring it out to the van and then I can quickly pack it away. Most stuff stays in the van, but we did buy some new bowls. How cool are these? They're so cool. Um, oh, and our blankets. We're taking extra two extra blankets away because it is cold. Um, got the radio, got more gas, got our water bottles. And as well, one of Adam's friends brought him these plates. Look at these. How cool is that? Bit of van life, bit of van life, bit of van life there. Anyway, so we've got those to pack. Obviously, you wash your towels, you bring them back out. Um, got more paper. This is actually my jacket. How cool is that? Folds up into a little bag. Wine, Adam's drinks. So yeah, so now to pack that away. That's all done, empty boxes, and as well, I'm removing the old plates. It's Friday night, and we are ready to go. It is raining, it's terrible. Adam's in the back doing the last bit of packing. Twyla is here with her seatbelt on, ready to go. Once Adam hops in that seat, we're going. So we've just arrived and as per usual, Twyla's having a big cry because Daddy's gone to get the key. So she's crying. Hey, stop crying. We're here now. So we're here. It's um, we're at the Eureka Stockade Holiday Park. How exciting. Oh, now you're happy Daddy's back. Now you're happy. Was she looking? Yes, as per usual. Just arrived. Adam's just gone to take Twyla to the bathroom. I've got to plug the power in, chuck some water in our tanks, and basically get this place um, suitable so we can set up for dinner and start having something to eat and get the TV on. I think it's going to be a games night tonight because it's very wet outside. All right, I better get to it. Twyla's just sitting there nice and patient. Why? We fill up the water. I've got Adam holding the hose. Say hi, Adam. Uh, so we don't get it muddy, because it's muddy here. So just filling up the tanks for the weekend. Save petrol by not having them filled up. Look at her. There's a slow cooker, we've got it out. So just got to get the food into there. And then we can start cooking dinner. It's on the menu, I brought this. So 25 minutes in the oven normally. Um, but we're going to be putting it into the crock pot. I've got this to throw in with it, and oh, so sorry, so cooker, not a, sorry, sorry, Adam, Twyla, sorry. Um, and <laughs> I've got mushrooms to throw in there as well. So it's a quick, easy dinner. We've just got to get this plugged in. Um, we'll probably do it on the floor. The heater's already on. That's going. Our little gay flags are flapping in the air. And uh, yes, there's our extra blankets. All right, let's get dinner on. So we can go um, do a lot of research tonight and see what we're going to do over the next few days. There's probably half of these we can't do because of Twyla, but that's okay. And tea's on. There it is, cooking away, doing the hard work for us while we sit here and read up. I only 
just realised, I haven't even told you where we are. We're in Ballarat. I told you the caravan park, what it's called, but I never said where we are. So we're in Ballarat. All right. I definitely think it's come to that time of the night where I need a wine. Brothers Savion Blanc tonight. We got this on our trip when we went to Wangaratta and we went to the actual Brown Brothers Winery. All right, let's pour this. All right, it's time for the big reveal. Here we go. Woo! That looks so good. Yes! Oh my god, it smells so amazing. Alright, it's time to dish up. This tastes absolutely beautiful. Um, and I didn't actually cook it. I mean, I warmed it up, but it's so good. I mean, I think, I think it tastes even better now. It's had the extra mushrooms. And we put extra... Uh, oh, well, we didn't put extra. We put in... Um, cauliflower and uh, it's turned out so good and Adam says we're hungry because it's now 10 o'clock at night and we're just just eating now uh, note to self next time you get something that cooks in the other 45 minutes it's gonna take you three hours in a slow cooker on high anyway let me go eat It's nine o'clock in the morning and Adam's still asleep. He's having a bit of a sleeping and I'm only letting him because it's his 40th birthday. So he can do what he wants today, I don't care. It's raining. I've taken Twyla for a walk just before the rain started, thank God. And I'm about to go have my shower. So let's go check out the showers. And then on the way back, I will show you a little bit around the park. Those showers were so clean and they looked brand new, to be honest. It was absolutely beautiful and they ran so nice, nice hot water. Um, anyway, we are literally in the middle of it all in this caravan park. We've got, we're in front of the um, kids playroom slash, hey, I see a coffee sign there. Um, and then over here, you've got the ladies toilets, um, kids playground, barbecue area, us. <laughs> so yeah, full circle. And I don't know if I've already said it, but laundry and a little undercover gazebo. Yeah, so um, I'll show you some of the accommodation they've got here. They've got heaps of um, heaps and heaps heaps of uh, cabins, um, all different types, all different sizes, and uh, otherwise plenty of spots for power science, camping, and all the rest of it. And it's really in the middle of everything. We're not far at all from the city. Um, and we're not far from Sovereign Hill. All right, let's go check it out. absolutely loving this camp kitchen check it out it's got everything you need including a coffee machine now that's a big plus for me and then if you are here with the kids one good thing is while you're cooking you can be watching them play their games in the other room there's glass there keep the noise out so you can enjoy a glass of wine cook away while the kids are having the best time of their lives and let's go in and see if adam's awake I wish him happy
Well, happy birthday, babe. Happy 40th. Twyla, you gonna say happy birthday to daddy? No. Oh yeah, no. So we just can't come out. to the, um, what is it? The botanical, botanical gardens in Ballarat. So we're just here, it is wet. So we're not looking forward to this one getting wet. So, and the paths outside look like they're all um, like compacted sand. So this will be interesting. All right, let's go explore the park. So this park is absolutely massive. Um, so we're gonna do it in three different stages, I think. We'll just drive the van as we go along. Um, we'd walk the whole thing, but it is very, very wet. So just next to the park, there's a tram museum and they've actually got Real trams that go up and down the park. And I think you can hop on. There's one coming now. So the first place we're stopping is definitely to get a coffee and I think we're going to stop at Piper's by the lake. So it's just here and then across the road they've got a whole heap of things to look at so we'll probably pop over there as well. And it's still raining. Ugh. just picked up our coffees and now we're walking around this part of the park this looks so good and they've even got this massive what do they call that an atrium atrium i think they call it if they don't i apologize to everyone at home all right i'm gonna head over and have a look Unfortunately, the Robert Clark Conservatory is closed today. They've actually got plants you can buy and they've got a little trust thing here where you, you just pop your money in if you want to buy it. And um, yeah, so we can't go in there today, but I could film inside from the outside, which is nice. Um, now we're gonna go check out another part of the park. We're now walking down the Prime Minister Avenue, which has all their heads all the way along the path. So if there's any you don't like, you can, you know, no, don't touch them. Anyway, <laughs> let's go have a look at these guys.
Now I have to admit, it's pretty bad when you don't know any of these guys. Well, maybe I'm just not to the years that I was born, but wow, there's a lot I don't know. Unfortunately, I only have a coffee to have a drink with good old Bob Hawk. Sorry, Bob. I actually got to meet Bob Hawk when I was back doing Young Talent School when I was about seven years old. <laughs> and he was at a park and we got to see him. My nan was so excited. Anyway, Bob Hawk, cheers. Haven't got a beer for you, but just a coffee. Our first woman to run Australia. Here she is. Cheers. Sorry again, I've only got a coffee. Through this part of the park, the trees are absolutely beautiful. You've got to come down and check out these trees. They're so nice. And walking around, <laughs> you've got these swans just everywhere, just walking up to you. We're, we're actually watching Twyla because we're scared that one of them's going to attack her. They'll probably think she's bait. But anyway, all right, well, let's keep walking. Check out some of these trees. I mean, look at this. That is actually a tree. <laughs> I, it just looks like, well, actually, I don't want to say what it looks like, but how cool are some of these? And look at this one. It reminds me of um, some trees I saw in um, San Francisco. Look at them. They're amazing. So cool. Oh, Twyla, look at you. You're all wet. How are we going to get you back in the van? Twyla? How are we going to get you back in the van? You're all wet. Getting Twyla dry. She's having a bit of fit attack. Twyla, you're rubbing yourself all over the bed. What are you doing? You're having yeah. a spaz attack. <laughs> now this is a good part about having a van. <laughs> you can dry your dog off in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> So we've just headed down to the city. Now we're gonna go try to find somewhere for lunch. And it's still cold lunch. and it's still raining here and there. But um, it's okay, we're braving it out. We're braving it out. So it's a week away from Ballarat having their big winter festival. They do this every year. It's pretty amazing and they even put a special light show on it at um, Sovereign Hill, which is pretty epic. But we've missed it by a week. It's actually next week. So that's okay. If you want interest in that, you should come up and check it out. So we stopped at the Golden City Hotel where we're going to have something to eat and just grabbed ourselves a wine. And we've pretty much got the whole outdoor area undercover to ourselves. And it looks like that sun is finally peeking through the clouds. So it's going to end up being a good day after all. So Adam has decided for his birthday dinner, we are having Indian. So we're just going to pick it up. Then we're going to go back to the caravan park, settle in for the night and enjoy some wine with Indian. And I have brought him a surprise cake, 
which is already found in the fridge. I can't keep any surprises on this boy. Adam just getting our dinner ready. I spent all that time cooking. And um, now we're dishing up. Now I'm joking. I need food. And we've, we've actually got our outdoor table. We can't be bothered setting up our table. So we've just got our outdoor table putting in the middle. We want to sit at the side of it. So we can watch TV. And Twyla's going to have the whole couch to herself while we eat our dinner. She's eating her dinner. Right. Let's get this happening. So this has worked out perfect. Look at that, having the table in between us. Saves us getting out the proper table. Twyla's happy because she's um, munching away on her dinner. Treats. Oh, treat, we should say. But uh, one thing we're not doing this weekend is keto. Don't shame me. Last walk for the night for Twyla. She's been a good girl, she went to the toilet. And now it's time to bunker in for the night. So we're going to about to do the cake and I thought why not get Laura on the phone, Adam, one of Adam's good friend best friends, if anything, um, on the phone to sing happy birthday. We could do like a virtual thing. Look at this in the van. We've got it all set up. We're all say hi Laura. Yeah, see? All right, I'm going to go get the cake ready. You just keep talking talking with me, uh, between yourselves. I'm going to go get the cake ready because Adam doesn't know about it. Not. Right, so here is the cake. We've got it all ready. But unfortunately, I don't have any candles. But don't worry, I came with matches. So I think this will do. All right, let's go sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, Adam. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Hoop. Hooray! Hoop. Hooray! <laughs> Yay! Just the smoke alarm doesn't go off, hopefully. Thanks, Laura. <laughs> now, let's just... Yeah, well, we can save you some, but it'll probably be off by then, or, or Twyla's going to eat it. We were just worried that the um, smoke... We are just worried about the smoke alarm going off. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll go cut this up. You just have a chat. Okay. It's not too bad, but we're gonna go to the yeah. museum. There's one behind us here actually. So we'll go check out that tomorrow. We'll go to a winery for lunch on the way home. Good night, Twyla. So a little bit of bad news. Our fridge broke down we think yesterday afternoon. So now Adam is busy emptying it. I've got to go throw everything out. Here he is. So we brought a new fridge. So literally late last night, Adam brought a new fridge <laughs> online. Well, all that food is in the bin now. Um, we've ordered the new fridge. So this week it looks like I'll be installing a new fridge for the first time. I've never done it before. Where Adam's just yeah. finishing packing up. Have your last drink, baby girl. And we're about to uh, head out of the caravan park and um, just get on with that day. Eh? Bloody fridge. Thousand dollars later. Hmm. Just pulled over to McDonald's to grab a really quick breakfast and coffee. And then we're gonna head off and uh, see what else there is to look at. So we've just come down to the park right next door to the caravan park. Um, it's the home of the Eureka flag. Where it is, it's in a, a museum. And you can come down here. At the moment, for some reason, it's not open. We were complaining on going in. We're going to take it in turns. Here it is here. It looks really good.
Okay, so this is us after ah! <laughs> taking Twyla for a walk in the park. There was so much mud and water in the grass. She's a bath and she So she's home. having a bath now and she'll have another one, I think, when we get home. Oh, what a mess. So we're now back in Ballarat City. Um, I'm just here at the, uh, the Art Gallery of Ballarat. I came here a while ago with Adam and we saw a skull exhibition and it was so good. So I'm just gonna pop in now to check out what my exhibition's on. And then if they've got something on, I might go check it out. Um, Adam and Twyla are in the car waiting and then we might do the swap a Rooney and Adam might go in after me. was fantastic and considering it was free well that's even better so make sure you definitely check out the gallery if you come in to town We're now on our way home, but we thought we'll stop off at Gibson Peak Winery to have some wine and a, something to eat. It's uh, Gibson Peak Winery is very close to Melbourne. So if you want somewhere to go on a Sunday afternoon, this is a great place to go. It's not too far from Melbourne. All right, I'm gonna go in and have some wine and food. What a way to end our weekend. This is just to die for. They've just put it on for us. This is so good. Anyway, I'm gonna tuck into this because it looks so good.
Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this adventure. We have had so much fun. If you've liked this adventure or any of our other adventures and you haven't already, please do yourself a favor. Go down the bottom, like, subscribe, and tell everyone about us. Also, at this end of this video, being that we've been to Ballarat, I could not not mention Sovereign Hill. So I've put a video together on Sovereign Hill from the last time we were there. We went there with my mum and Adam, and we had so much fun. So just as an extra added bonus, stick around. And just after this, we've got another video for you. All right, guys, whatever you're doing this week, have fun, and I'll see you on the next adventure. See you guys.